And by 2020 or 2030, I have to look at the exact date, in that range, we're gonna be up to one to three dollars of our money will be going to healthcare. So when you look at that enormous cost, you know, we have to address that solution. But we don't talk about lowering the cost. We talk about are you for or against Obamacare, for or against single payer. The fundamental issue that can bring us together is if we all realize that a 50 cents hamburger is selling for half a million dollars. What do I mean by that? That there's a collusion between the, the big pharma, big insurance, and big hospitals. And that collusion is owned and modulated by people called group purchasing organizations, GPOs. I don't know if you guys know what those are. Have you ever heard of them? Well, it's probably the, one of the biggest rackets that no one has addressed. They were given safe harbor in the late 80s and again in 2000 for the pharmacy equivalent of them, which controls the supply chain of everything that you see in a hospital and primarily everything you see in a pharmacy. So if you go to a hospital, God forbid, knock on wood, no one has to, and you walk in, the pillowcases, the bed sheets, the stapler on the nurse's desk, everything is owned and controlled by three GPOs, at least 80% of the supply. So in the 70s, they organized to really help um, hospitals get lower costs. But later on, they consolidated and they monopolized, they controlled the, 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 literally the supply chain. So what's happened is they literally are able to give kickbacks, corruption that was allowed, and that entire process needs to be reversed. I think every American will be for lowering the cost of healthcare. Just as I described the GPOs, their equivalents called PBMs, who control the supply chain from the drug manufacturer to the CVSs of the world. Generic drugs, even though generics are supposed to lower, these PBMs are controlling the supply chain. So even the notion of generic drugs, is the costs are being cranked up. There are examples of a $2 generic being sold for 30 grand. Yeah, but that, that's also coming directly from the pharmaceutical companies as well. No, it? no, no. I'm talking about generics here, Tony. So what happens is, let's say you're... Even generic insulin, e for instance? Yeah. So, so do you know that one of the biggest problems that hospitals are experiencing right now is shortages of things like insulin, sodium bicarbonate, catheters. Now, no one discusses this because Elizabeth Warren supported GPO kickbacks. Yeah, because when Azar brought this up... So there are actually several drug companies that are looking at substantial and material decreases of drug prices in competitive classes and actually competing with each other and looking to do that. You said they're looking at it. This is the perversion of the system so we were in, talking in about. So in other words, the president's promise... So what they're trying to do is work to ensure they're not discriminated against. Oddly, the fear is that they would be discriminated against for Was decreasing their price. Was that true when the president price. made the promise? They are working to ensure they're not discriminated against for lowering their price. You should I, focus, I, if I would suggest, on the PBMs and distributors Ms. Razor, who might I'm say to these, do not, saying, exactly do not decrease your price. where the president told us to focus. He said there would be massive decreases in prices within two weeks. It's been two weeks, and there have been no decreases in we, an indication of increase. We had an um, a earlier meeting with um, Dr. Shiva. Uh -huh. I, I adore him. I adore him, thank you. Mm -hmm. He was saying that um, what's called group purchasing organizations are what really is driving the, the cost of health care. There are three major uh, suppliers to hospitals of everything from linens to, uh, to, dev to devices and all that. And it, it's a monopoly that um, has driven up prices. He, he also sees wrongdoing there, that there are kickbacks and the like that he expressed. It's a, it's a, he said it's a very big element, and there are only three major companies um, that that do it for like virtually every hospital everywhere. So, so you know, prices. if if that is so, then the Department of Justice mm -hmm. and the Trump administration should be investigating, and if there's a case mm -hmm. there, they should pursue it. Yeah. You know, look. Uh, Elizabeth Warren and the Democrats are very clever, acting as though crocodile tears, and she said, oh, you need to show that to us. This is how they work. The GPO kickback system, one of the biggest frauds in America. It, uh, I would pass immediate legislation to eliminate the kickbacks and take away the Safe Harbor Act.